guys, I am currently in Diamond Bar. I am meeting up with my girlfriend Janet and Irene. I was talking to Janet over the phone and she said she was going to go hiking today and I was like, I'm going hiking too. But I was planning on going by myself. Janet was telling me that she was going to go with Irene and thought I should also, you know, join them. So Irene has no idea that I'm going to be with her. It's going to be a surprise for her. But yeah, I'm waiting for these ladies to come here and we're going to go to this place here in Diamond Bar. my hike with Irene and Janet and then Janet was like hey if the boys wanted to see you they would be bummed if they didn't and so I'm currently heading over to her place to go see the kids I miss them Jaden Tyler and Preston they're her three little boys and I'm planning to bring them some goodies can I get sweet sour sauce thank you Today's the day that I celebrate the friendship of three beautiful women. As Valentine's Day approaches, we should be reminded that love is built on a strong foundation. So the other day I suggested to my girlfriends, why don't we do a little Valentine's Day brunch? Hi, Pam! All right. Hi. I haven't done this in such a long time. I remember my girlfriends and I, we would do something around Valentine's Day in college and we would celebrate Single Awareness Day. <laughs> some of us had boyfriends and some of us were single, but what was really important is that we just wanted to celebrate our friendship all together. So why not do a Valentine's Day with Pam, Connie, and Kat? We went to the rooftop of Pam's apartment complex and we all brought food and drank some mimosas. Oh, and a blow her. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Slowly appreciating the simple things in life, such as going plant shopping with the girls. We went to Chinatown, and it's called Rainbow, where they have a wonderful selection of plants. I highly recommend going to this place because they have such a wonderful variety of plants for a great price. You can just check out the cool pop-up shops like this Gucci North Face store in the Arts District.
And of course, we went to other stores such as the Dover Street Market where they have edgy pieces from designer sunglasses to psychedelic displays and decor and streetwear to insane garments. We went straight back to the apartment to check out the halftime show. Life is built on these memories that we make of and I'm super happy to celebrate my Valentine's Day with these girls. I just got here at the Echo Park COVID test site. I'm planning on getting a COVID test before my flight out to Colorado. I recently got furloughed by my company for about two weeks. After talking to my parents, they want me to come home and spend quality time with them, as well as with my sister and my niece. And I might see a couple of friends here and there, but we shall see. I have been here once before when I had a COVID scare the one time where my coworker had gotten it and my company required me to get it testing. I'm very familiar with this process. They're going to make me cough, I think twice, and then I'm going to have to like put a swab down my throat and give them the sample. They'll just kind of get back to me like tomorrow or the day after. I think for those of you who are interested in seeing what it's like to test here in California, I will do that just for you. This is my first time seeing a helicopter land on one of the buildings. I was just kind of walking by and I saw it coming close and I was like, what is it doing? I think it just landed. sign at the end, okay? Thank you. I have. Come on up. Okay. Uh, leave your mask on while you do that coughing part. Head on into this tent and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.